Matro Rovo DC This off-road vehicle is unlike anything you've ever seen before. The Rovo DC, formerly known as the Ziesel, was developed by the Austrian company Matro. It's a vehicle that optimally combines high travel capacity, compactness, reliability, and safety. The high-strength frame is made of seamless precision steel. The dimensions are 58 inches long, 48 inches wide, and 69 inches tall. The vehicle is able to travel uphill or downhill at an angle of up to 30 degrees. The tracked platforms with special rubber coating are suitable for both on-road and off-road operation. In this last case, they distribute the load on the ground, reducing the possibility of the vehicle getting stuck. The driver is secured in the seat with four-point seat belts. The Rovo DC is also equipped with a rollover protection system. The manufacturer offers two models, the Sport and the Off-Road. The Sport model can reach speeds of up to 19 miles per hour and can carry a load of 661 pounds. Two 4.4 kilowatt electric motors provide 368 foot-pounds of torque. The off-road model is more suitable for off-road travel, but can only reach speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour. However, it can carry a payload of 1,100 pounds. The two 7.5 kilowatt motors provide 737 foot-pounds of torque. Lambo Truck This original project was carried out by the creative workshop Machinatory from St. Petersburg. The team received a complex and expensive assignment to build a unique replica of the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. The experts accepted the challenge, but soon discovered that the customer had lost interest in the project. Then, they took the decision to keep working on it because they were excited about making something truly unique a trophy truck reminiscent of the famous Aventador SVJ. They needed about half a year to build the body you see on the screen. However, it's far from being a finished product. The specialists are going to bring the exterior of the car to perfection, then make a mold to create a new final carbon fiber body. In addition, they're now working on a 3D project that will serve as the basis for the high-strength frame. Therefore, it's still too early to talk about the technical characteristics. An interesting design solution was the use of a special mini-model. First, the mini-model was created, and only later a full-size car was made. Some body parts were manufactured individually. The masters cut them out from the old frame and replaced them. Other parts were 3D printed. These include, for example, the handles of the decorative panel on the hood, the air intakes, and much more. Rally Fighter This is the world's first car developed using co-creation design. Local motors held a contest in which anyone could submit their version of the design, and then allowed people to create the car of their dreams. The process took place online, and anyone can comment on the design. This Rally Fighter features one of seven designs chosen from 7,000 submissions. It has a front mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, and a reinforced plastic-coated steel frame. The weight is 3,300 pounds. The chassis has nearly the same dimensions as a supercar. The wheelbase is 115 inches, and the width is 80 inches. And the engine is a 430 horsepower GM LS3 V8 E rod with 424 foot pounds of torque. TATV Here is a vehicle that combines both wheeled and tracked platforms for improved off road performance. According to the developers, the TATV is the most efficient, flexible, and intelligent system for special military operations. The vehicle can travel over any type of terrain, with or without a pilot. The low center of gravity eliminates the risk of rollover. The tracked platform is made of Kevlar and rubber, which provides optimal traction for higher speed and control on the road. As there is no ground clearance, the TATV can overcome any obstacle. If required, the TATV can be equipped with a modular mine detection system. 
Thanks to the remote control, it can be used for unmanned mine clearance. In addition, thanks to its unique cross-country mobility and compact size, it's ideal for emergency medical evacuation. Alternatively, a wide range of weapon systems can be installed on the platform. The approach angle is 43 degrees, the departure angle is 72 degrees, turning radius is 20 feet, the operational temperatures are minus 31 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and the engine is a 130 horsepower Rotex 900. Argo Aurora The Canadian company Argo presented a whole range of eight-wheeled off-road vehicles. It comprises of several models, each with an impressive list of innovations. Revamped tires make less noise and provide better traction. Feedlock rims allow for a lower tire pressure, which provides a 30% smoother ride. The manufacturer also added the Argo Progressive Steering System that reduces steering efforts and increases steering range fourfold. The vehicle is powered by a high-performance V-twin engine with electronic fuel injection. The liquid-cooled engine produces 30 horsepower and the fan-cooled engine produces 40 horsepower. The steering wheel position increases the free space in the passenger compartment by 20%. The floor is equipped with anti-slip pads for additional comfort. Another interesting advantage is the special firewall, which reduces noise inside the cabin, protects you from excessive heat, and covers the moving parts of the transmission. There is also a winch with a 3,500-pound line pull. The Lamborghini LM002 you have all probably heard of Lamborghini sports cars, but Lamborghini SUVs are another story. They're not too widespread and therefore not very popular. It's a pity, because the Lamborghini LM002 features not only excellent cross-country performance, but also speeds of up to 118 miles per hour. It features a 5.2-liter V12 engine delivering 455 horsepower, the torque is 368 foot-pounds, and the acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes four and a half seconds. The engine is mated to a four-speed manual transmission. The fully independent suspension is ideal for off-road travel, as are the disc brakes. The square shapes, the large wheels, the round headlights, the 12-inch clearance, every detail of the vehicle's exterior indicates that it is a military machine. The interior, on the other hand, is quite different as it's finished in leather and wood. Overall, even though it was produced a long time ago, between 1986 and 1993, the Lamborghini LM002 remains an impressive car. A total of only 328 copies were produced. Malamut 300L this mini ATV was developed in Russia and is a versatile vehicle designed to perform the most complex tasks. For example, it's ideal for gardening and also allows you to get to the most inaccessible and remote places for hunting and fishing. An important advantage is the large number of optional accessories that enable you to assemble a unique vehicle suitable for your specific needs. The engine output is 15 horsepower, maximum speed is 18 and a half miles per hour, the maximum degree of inclination it can overcome is 35 degrees. Wading depth is 12 to 16 inches. Ground clearance is 7 inches. And the load capacity is 440 pounds. Thanks to its compact size, the Malamute can be transported in a car or on a trailer. The wider track width reduces ground pressure and increases off-road capability. So much so that even swampy terrain is no problem for the Malamute. Terex KRX-1000 The new Terex KRX-1000 vehicle from the Japanese brand Kawasaki will help you embark on an adventure without fear of getting stuck in the process. The UTV is powered by a two-cylinder parallel twin engine. The torque is 76.7 foot-pounds and its displacement is 61 cubic inches. 
It's enough to overcome rocky trails and to travel at high speed. The frame has an integrated safety cage. Pay attention to the wheels as well. They're placed as far apart as possible. This provides greater stability and improved steering capability. Another important advantage is the Fox 2.5 Podium LSC shocks. They're complemented by long suspension arms, so the ATV has the longest suspension travel in its class. It measures 19 inches at the front and 21 inches at the rear. Amphicruiser Why do you need a boat when you can travel on water directly by car? The developers of this amphibious off-road vehicle must have asked themselves this question as well. The model is built on the Toyota Land Cruiser, one of the most reliable off-road vehicles in the world. The vehicle can travel at speeds of up to 87 miles per hour on land. On water, the speed is reduced to 5 knots. The controls work the same in both modes, so no additional training is required before getting behind the wheel. Inflatable sealed doors make the interior watertight. You can choose between four different engines, two diesel, gasoline, and even a 60 kilowatt electric motor. The manufacturer is the Dutch company Amphicruiser. Yamal V6M Finally, we wanted to show you perhaps the most impressive off-road vehicle of all. Because it's not just a car, but a truck. The Yamal V6M is able to keep going even when the road ends. It is ideal for soft and snowy terrain. The vehicle's task is to carry large loads to remote areas with difficult terrain. The payload of the model is 55,000 pounds. The approach angle is 36 degrees. The departure angle is 26 degrees. The half frame's turning angle is 39 degrees. Ground clearance is 22 inches, wading depth is 67 inches, and the speed depends on the equipment and can reach 32 miles per hour. Interestingly, the basic configuration of the ATV is equipped with a hydraulic winch with a pulling force of 24,000 pounds. The 12 ply tires have a high resistance to punctures, but at the same time provide the lowest possible ground pressure. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.